What do we mean by the label reformed when we talk about our theology? Why do we get excited about it? To so many people, it's a, a word that sounds theoretical or complicated or too controversial. What is it that gets us so excited about these truths? What's at the heart of it is the question we need to ask. And that's a big question, but this is my attempt at least to answer that question. I think that the heart of Reformed theology is the attempt uh, under Scripture to make God himself the centre of all our thinking, all our understanding, and to make him our all in all. So, yes, when we think about our salvation, when I think about the way the Lord has worked in my life, I'm going to confess that my salvation rests ultimately on the fact that God chose to freely love me in Christ from before the foundation of the world. But it struck me again just recently how in Scripture that isn't introduced as a contentious topic for debate. It's so often given rather as comfort to struggling believers. So when Peter writes to the elect exiles in Asia Minor in 1 Peter, he's effectively saying to them, look here, look at the God who has chosen you from all eternity and freely set his love on you. Turn the spotlight of your heart there. Don't allow the spotlight to fall on those around you who hate you and despise you. He is your determining reality. So I need training, I need help to turn my heart away from my circumstances, away from myself and onto God. Or we think of when we suffer, when we experience trials and temptations, when I'm cast down by my sin and my failure, where am I going to find my hope? So often then I turn the spotlight on myself. What can I do? Can I manage this? Was actually I need to turn the spotlight away back onto the God who loves me in Christ. In the church that I'm not part of, we love to sing, when I fear my faith will fail, he will hold me fast. Can you imagine what a burden it would be if we sang instead, when I fear my faith will fail, I'll keep trusting Christ. There's no joy there. There's only a burden. But even not just in the hard times, in the whole of my life, my very spiritual life itself comes only from Christ. It is his resurrection life shared with me. My union with Christ has to be at the very heart of my theology. And from that I draw strength and hope for each day. This isn't something that I can conjure up for myself or something that I can sustain in myself drives me continually back to Christ to put the spotlight on him, to look to him as my only hope. And we could carry on and on going throughout our theology, seeing how that reality, as we turn the spotlight onto God for us in Christ, it changes the flavour of everything. As we think about justification, as we think about sanctification, as we think about the Lord's Supper, whatever it may be, and it makes it such good news. And I know no other uh, framework to act like a kind of spiritual splint for my heart, to hold it in the correct orientation as it learns to put the spotlight on God for us in Christ Jesus, than that framework that we call Reformed Theology. And that's why we get so excited about it. That's why it's really good news.